Hi, I'm Shana Galen, and I'm here to do a reading from my latest Covent Garden Cubs book, Earls Just Wanna Have Fun. And in this scene, the heroine, Marlo, has been kidnapped by the hero Dane's brother, Brooke. Uh, Brooke is an investigator, and he's been hired by um, the parents of a, a woman who's been missing for like 15 years, and they think that the heroine, Marlo, might be this woman. Uh, she doesn't agree. She has grown up uh, in a rookery, as working as a thief, and she doesn't have any recollection of any life before that. And so she is a little put out at having been kidnapped and, um, and a little uh, suspicious of what's going to happen uh, now that she is um, alone with Dane. Because, of course, his brother, Brooke, has had to run off for um, another important investigation. And so here are the two of them. They're together in uh, the kitchen of his uh, London townhouse. And then he says, If you would meet your parents, you will have to wash and change. I don't have parents, she declared. No surprise there. She was obviously the spawn of Satan. Still, it was interesting. An enterprising thief, as she seemed to be, might see the opportunity in pretending to be the daughter of a Marquess. Then you are not Lady Elizabeth Grafton, he asked. My name is Marlowe. Dane waited. Just Marlowe, she added. And you are not the daughter of the Marquess of Lind Linden. I don't know the bloody man. Now, if you'll just let me go, she attempted to push past him, but Dane, setting aside his distaste for the dirt covering her, caught her about the waist. She jumped back, and he stepped to the side before she could hit him. Looked like he, she had a good right hook, too. I'm afraid I cannot let you go. She glared at him. Why not? So glad you asked. Two reasons, actually. First of all, my brother is a prime investigator. I don't know how he does it, but he knows information. Which leads to the second reason. If he thinks you are Lady Elizabeth Grafton, I must give him the benefit of the doubt. That's a fancy way of saying I'm a liar. Dane spread his hands. It is nothing of the sort. She crossed her arms under her ample bosom. Really? Don't you think I know who I am? I told you my name is Marlo. I don't know this lady you're talking about. Now tell me again my name is Elizabeth and you're calling me a liar. Dane stared at her for a long moment. Shocking to admit that the girl had a point. He was, in essence, calling her a liar. I didn't intend to offend you. You can dress up a pig however you want, but it's still a pig. Now they were speaking of animals? Or was this girl more intelligent than she looked? Are you using a metaphor? he asked. No more fancy words, she demanded. Let me go. He refused to sink to her level and holler back. There is no point in allowing you to go. My brother will only find you again. And Dane would have to listen to a lecture for allowing the girl to escape. No, he won't. I can hide so I'm never found. She didn't know Brooke. He could find anyone, and he was patient. He could wait years for a man or woman to surface. But Dane wasn't going to argue that point with her. He had others yet to be introduced. Be that as it may, Dane conceded, I am not about to let you go. As I see it, you have a choice. Either willingly take a bath, don clean clothing, and eat a hot meal, or, she tapped her foot rapidly, or do all of that except perhaps the hot meal under duress. Duress? She, he smiled thinly. I force you. You think you can make me do something I don't want? She notched her chin up in challenge. Yes. She looked at him for a long time. He didn't know what she saw in his eyes, but finally she nodded. All right, but you're not watching the bath. Madame, I assure you, I had no intention of doing so. I will stand in the kitchen with my back turned. I give you my word as a gentleman. She rolled her eyes. Some gentleman forcing me to take a bath against my will. Yes, I know. The horror. And another thing. He sighed. What now? I'm not putting on a dress, he raised his brows. I want trousers and a shirt like you have. You want a dress as a man? Why? Because I do. Strange, he muttered to himself, but at this point he did not care. His mother and sister would be home soon, and he wanted the girl dealt with. And that is from Earl's Just Wanna Have Fun. So, I will see you soon. Say bye, Sparky.